All right, guys, so we had a lot of people always ask, like, hey, you know, what goes on in the card shop? Like, I want to see more, like, day in the life type stuff. So uh, after the documentary we did with Luke, we decided let's uh, let's film some more stuff for, like, what goes on in a week in, in the card shop. So that's what we're going to try to do and see how this how this really plays out. So we're going to uh, we're going to try to film these on, like, a weekly basis to really get an idea of because like some days it's super busy, some days it's not super busy, it's more like behind the scenes type stuff. Um, so I think it just makes it easier to put everything in a, in a week and try to uh, accumulate the week as best as possible. So we're going to, we're, we're going to try this out, but if anybody ever has any, uh, anything like you said, if there's something you want to see, is something you think that we should add to these, we're all for, all for feedback. So we're gonna try to show as much as we can. Obviously some things we don't wanna show, some things we do wanna show. Um, be respectful of the customers as well. But again, if anybody ever thinks of anything, feel free to uh, to send us some of your feedback. Happy to uh, to see what we got, but let's get into it. Popping on a west side, cause it's west day. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more. Shack and a Shaq and a cab. Game over. I know, that's what I was like laughing at. There's probably not a whole lot of game used Cavalier stuff. I'm sure. This ain't cap, baby, not a feel like calling. From the pub, but I got a music pop. Alright, so. Lots to do this week. This will actually be the first day we're ever open on a Monday. Consistently, uh, the last couple. I mean, really, since we opened, Monday's been one of our busier days, if not our busier day. It's just. It's a day we, like I've always said, we've got to do everything else on Monday to prepare for the rest of the week. So it's when you price check things, you you know work on getting new stuff out for sale, you order new inventory, you check on supplies, you check on grading orders. You just do so much on Mondays. It's just historically been our busiest day. But now we feel like we're in a good spot with our staff, where we've got the the capability to you know staff the shop on Monday as well, and with you know, people being in from out of town and just doing so many different things. Like, we just have so many customers locally that are always trying to come in on Monday. Uh, we just felt like Monday would make would make sense to be open, so we're gonna we're gonna try to be open on, on Monday as well. So this week will be the first Monday we're actually ever open, and then we're going to we've got a lot of other stuff to do. We've got eight eight or nine PSA orders coming back this week that I know we've got to check on and get those in, get those processed, shipped out to customers take pictures of those so we can post them. So we've got to do that. We've got to send our weekly BGS, PSA, and SUC orders out. We've got, we listed quite a, Nick listed quite a few cards this weekend. So we've got 300 eBay auctions scheduled. So over the next couple of days, we'll have all of those ending. Those will need shipped. Uh, we had a, uh, I think we're going to do, we're going to try a like live sale later this week. So we've got a bunch of just random inventory. We're going to go live one night on Instagram and try to try to move some inventory that way. Uh, just so many different things. I'm sure there's a bunch of things I'm thinking about. Um, so yeah, just a, a lot on my mind, a lot to do. But yeah, I gotta start the, the week off right. So we'll, uh, we'll get into the shop today and just get right to it. Kind of like just straight entrepreneurs, stay at home, travel to shows, create content from home, do that kind of thing. So when the opportunity presented itself to buy a shop at like a physical retail store, which is what I always wanted, and it was an obtainable opportunity, it was it was awesome, right? Like that was, you know, I felt accomplished then, um, but to be able to build something like this, I just, it was cool. With it also pouring down rain almost all day, so Sunday wasn't nearly as busy as, as Friday or Saturday, but Overall, just it was it was fun, right? Just so many of that. That's what I couldn't get. I, I'll never forget. It's just how many people showed up and were like, "Dude, this is awesome! Congratulations!" Just offered support. I thought that was really really cool to see. So go back for me. Go check like uh, the net. No, over here. You can keep there. Go to like five. Pick a different date than five six. 
five, try five five. There's a couple of those left. See, this is the problem is we're scanning aimlessly. So then everybody else should mostly have one until you get to a guy like Damian Lillard who has one or two. Okay. So that it should match with the card number here, the front one, the okay. front two, should match on these. So just make So most of them are gonna be one. ones. Okay. Most of them will be ones. I You'll you. run into a two when you have somebody so that's- one, two, three, five. Yep, yep. Okay. or Anthony Modeste or whatever, okay. um, or like Damian Lillard. Those guys will have more than one. Okay. But for the most part, everybody else should just be one. I gotcha, okay. Make sense? Yeah, I'll fix that. But see, like I know, the only reason I bring this up is I know some of this is listed. Like, this is listed. So my only concern is, is we're doing titles. For stuff that's already up. For stuff that's already up. Like, the two is listed. There was one of them that was really, really short. It yeah, was, I didn't, I know it's one you're talking about, and I, I couldn't know, like, I so didn't like, know what else to put. Uh, you put like, it was like 2021 Panini rookie score base card, or base, so add card, like rookie card instead of just rookie. Okay. Um, add autograph. Add panini if you can. Yeah. You yeah. Add, add the sport if you can. I, add, I always add panini. Add their college team or their pro team. Okay. Like just add, just fill it with something. Yeah. Uh, but make sure it's all caps. These? Yep. Those are all mine? Yep. Yeah. That's great. Intense galore for old Ryan. Ryan's already got a seven. That's good. Yuck. In not nine city over here. Uh, I am unboxing uh, our Southern Hobby order uh, with new product that comes in and uh, and restocks. So, got some contenders optic. Looks like some UFC Prism Retail, some Chronicles Hobby, um, some Prism Fast Break, Diamond Kings Hobby, Impeccable Soccer, some Prism Megas. Select hobby origins that can actually go out. We are organizing breaks so we can get them ready to ship to some customers. Just putting a few in at a time, and we'll end up putting them in a team bag, and we'll give them off to Lauren so she can ship them. Do you don't have the charger, right? I do not, no. For, for, for. Yeah, I mean, the, the hard part is, is like, a lot of these, like, say, PSA. Yeah, yeah. Like, the only option to grade PSA at the moment is $380. Yeah, we already talked um, about that, so. So, like, some of them might make sense for SUC because it's much cheaper. Yeah. You're just not going to get the, the PSA price. So, like, a lot of, like, this stuff isn't going to likely make sense to grade the non hollow non-first edition. Yeah. Because it's going to cost you $29 to grade it, and... It's not gonna have the same resale value as this. Yeah. So like, if you get an eight on this, you're like gonna end up breaking even. There's first editions. There's a first edition. First edition. First edition. First edition. There's a bunch of them. Gotcha. Now what you notice is there's multiple cards here. Mm -hmm. The back ones typically not. So you have a first edition and a non-first edition. Gotcha. So. Um, so basically, what we want to do is just search. The like a SUC mid grade, and just kind of see which of these make sense to bring. So, so like for instance, there's a seven five up for seventy bucks for best offer. Um, One, two, three. Cool. It's all you.
Karen, I got an extra Pokemon for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. I'm good if you're good. Say thank you. So okay. now I just need my stuff. Yeah, all right. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You got it? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, this is so cool, like just like driving down here and like seeing it. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. Say app here. You can go here and you, it just pulls it up, okay? You can scan barcode. If you scan the back here, it's loaded. Alright. This will pull up all the information about the car that you want to know. There are 618 of these that are PSA 10. Okay. Okay. Now we can go back here. So that's one of 618, right? Mm -hmm. Not to say that there won't be more, right, but that's what we're talking about today. Right. That one has 831. Well, that one does. Yeah, this one here does. Yeah. So that one has about 200 less, but it's also a couple hundred dollars more. Right. On eBay, that has a line that's crossed out or, or best offer or something like that, you can use 130 point to see what it actually sold for. So that actually sold for $125 okay. on May 13th. It looks like it was sealed maybe by a breaker or something. All right, what's going on guys? We are here at the Shantine Center in Columbus, Ohio. This is where Ohio State men's basketball plays. We got invited uh, to be a guest on a podcast with our friends over at LJ's Card Shop. LJ's uh, owner is Leo, and as well as a former men's basketball star uh, for Ohio State, Michael Red. So this will uh, this will be pretty cool. Leo is uh, a guy I've known in I've known him and his team for a little over a year now. They are really, really big in the card space. They've got just a ton of incredible cards. Um, great people that, that you know that work for them, Justin, Stefan, and uh, and the rest of their team. So been uh, been a pleasure to get to know them, and then obviously it's pretty cool to to get to get to meet Michael Red. Got to watch him growing up as a as a Buckeye fan, so that'll be pretty cool. So actually, really excited for this. So, so this will uh, this will be fun. So let's get inside and, and see what happens. This exact same numbered one sold yeah. for sixteen thousand dollars. Exact same number with the autograph difference. Our usual suspects, Stefan and Mr. Red. I bet. And we got a new guy, Ryan from Car Collector Two Instagram handle. Welcome, Ryan. Thanks for having me. I'm, uh, I'm honored to be here. Ryan knows a lot more than any of us at this table about cards, so that's why we brought him here to substantiate our ridiculous uh, <laughs> things that we talk about here. So, we're coming to you live from the shop. It's always helpful to have guys in shop that are you know, popular, right? So a little bit of, we don't want to only have Browns, Bengals, Steelers, Reds, that kind of stuff, but we also want to have stuff like LeBron and you know, Kobe and Zion, the popular players as well, I and mean, the same guys. Know, Leo's going for and some of the bigger cards are the same ones kids are coming in looking for their base rookie cards of so uh, it, it's uh, our big thing is we want to be diverse so my goal is for you to walk in and say hey do you have this and my answer is always yes so we've got Pokemon we've got wrestling we've got Star Wars you know, baseball basketball football soccer UFC F1 so like I want you to be able to come in and say hey do you have this and the answer is always yes so a little bit of everything collect What's your personal collection that you have? So in terms of like collecting, actual you know, collection, keep just straight enjoyment, it's all high state stuff. Right? I've grown up in Columbus, I well, high state football is really my jam, so um, just rare, unique stuff you just don't see every day. So mm -hmm. one of ones of Buckeye greats. So recently it's been Chase Young, Dobbins. I was really big into Braxton Miller. He was that guy. That's that's just what I really enjoy, right? Because this started as a hobby for me. So right. I got into it collecting a guy that I went to the same high school as. So Donnie Nicky mm -hmm. uh, went to Alder, played on the Ohio State Championship team, went in the NFL. I was eight years old, nine years old, in Tuttle Mall parking lot, ripping packs of like 2003 Sage. <laughs> and you got a crossover mm -hmm. RPA. Another guy that hopefully stays healthy this year. Former Buckeye, Paris Campbell, just changed his number. Went to number one in Indy this year. With Wentz, might be able to do something. That's not a super strong division. I mean, Jaguars haven't been great. Tennessee, 
it, it is built to win if they got a quarterback. Cause that's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day. Popping on the west side, cause that's why I stay. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day.